It's time for your lesson on spiral dive recovery procedures. Spiral dives tends to happen when students or pilots that are not trained to fly in low visibilities fly into clouds or either get fixated on items inside the cockpit. Example, trying to set a frequency or VOR. The aircraft will then tend to roll to one side without you noticing. I want you to take note now the airspeed is going to increase, our rate of descent is going to max out as well as our altimeter will be reducing. So your aircraft start rolling and you can see the bank angle is quite is getting quite steep. At this time is when the pilot usually looks up and see they are in a spiral dive. So what you want to do now immediately reduce the power to idle cutoff. Now roll wings level by applying opposite control column and rudder at the same time. Gently do this because remember our airspeed is very high at this time. Now simply just raise the nose gently to the horizon. Once our airspeed has stabilized more or less on our cruising speed then we can go ahead and add power to about 2300 rpm to maintain our speed and this is how you do the recovery procedure for your spiral dives see you for that next lesson